hello everybody today we are going to design this home page if you closely watch this home page it appears to be in a circular form because this is known as circular home page unlike other home pages you will not find the navigation bar right at the top of the header you can see the menus that is under the navigation bar which appears to be right at the center of the page and also if you closely watch you will see the hover effect let me show you just see the hover effect right in the page and also we have got the hover effect that has been applied to this menu and in the header it looks to be a outside of a circle right you can see and we have a very a short footer at the bottom right so we are going to design this home page today right so it's, it is very easy to write the HTML and CSS code for creating this circular home page so without wasting any more time let us start designing this home page but let me request you again that if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and support me i request you please subscribe my channel and support me share the video with your friends and other relatives so that they will also be benefited with this free video lecture so let us start So the first the most important thing I will do here so let me open the folder so this page we are going to design that is home.html now it is a blank page because you can see I have not written anything inside the body just I have written the title and title happens to be inside the head section right so you can see the title so you can see this is the home page we are going to write and, uh, and this is the location right and also I have written the name of the title right and now here I will write the body so inside the style I will write body I, I have declared the body as a element type selector and what I will be doing now I will write background color or the body that will be black right the background color of the body will be black right so you can see the bo body background color has been changed to black now here inside the body I will create a header so I will take a div let me name this a uh, div ID selector as header now I will declare the ID selector inside the style and here I will write height of this header div and that will be 100 px ok so I will give a background color for identifying the background color will be red but later I will remove the background color just to identify uh, this div I have given the background color that is red now let me see fine now the next step I will remove the margin from the body now body margin have been removed by writing body margin 0 px right you can see so you can see this much margin uh, the body has which will be removed now body margin has been removed right now inside the header I will take a heading tag
and here I will write uh, this uh, name I will write over here right so my successful world tour in my dream so I have written this thing over here now let's see how it appears right now I will get it at the center how can I get it at the center very very simple so inside the header I will write display flex or uh, display flex and align item center justify content center by combination of this uh, three CSS property and value I will just get this at the center right at the center now I will just do one thing I will change the font style so here I have already downloaded some font right so from this font I will add a font over here so just see how will I add a font over here I will write font face right font face now search src url so here I will write in from the font folder I will uh, let me select a font ok so this font this particular font ok I have selected for using over here for this heading tag now here I will write font family my f o n t font 1 so any name if you want you can give over here this is a uh, user defined name so what I have done I have declared the font face and this particular font I will use so from the font folder I will take this font for using and how can I call this font which I will be using by this name I have given that is font1 by this font1 name I can call uh, this particular font I can apply this font over any text right let me show you now here I will write header right now h1 so here I have declared the selector how how uh, have I declared the selector you must have noticed that inside this header that is inside this header we have got a heading this heading so for this I am writing the code over here so here I write font family so here font family font 1 font 1 so this is how I have used this font right by calling font family font 1 here for this h1 heading which is kept under the not under the inside the header so you can see this h1 heading has been kept inside this header so by this I can apply the font just see right you must have noticed the font has been applied over here right now I will change the color over here that is the color will be white so this is the code for white that is 6 time F right now under this header I will create another div just see now I will name this div as circle right this is a circular div so I have given a name that is circle now here I will write circle right so I have declared by the ID selector here now width width will be 120 percent that is the width will be much more than the size of skin that is 120 percent more than the size of the device skin right and height height will be just let's say 90 percent now I will just do one thing I will give a background color here let's say yellow just to see how it looks 
right now we can see right this is how it looks you can see the size of this div is much more than the size of the skin that is why a horizontal bar has been appeared right at the bottom right you can see a horizontal bar that has appeared right at the bottom i can move it left and right because the width i have given 120 percent 120 percent of the size of the skin now i will write here one thing that here inside the body i will write o v e r overflow h i hidden that means overflow hidden what uh, this particular css property overflow will do that means this property will identify the extra the extra position the extra part that is this is the extra part can you see the extra part so the extra part which is more than the body right you can see 120 percent have taken that means 20 percent is extra that you can see over here right so that 20 percent will be hidden the 20 percent will be hidden so i've written overflow hidden now let me refresh the browser now if you notice that the horizontal as well as the vertical bar both the bar have disappeared horizontal bar and the vertical bar which was there earlier has been disappeared why because the extra portion has been kept hidden right the extra portion of the body has been kept hidden that means uh, this 20 percent which was extra that that has been kept hidden now here i will write border not border yes border radius uh, 50 percent you know that border radius 50 percent will convert the div this particular circle div which i have taken to a circular formation that you can see right now right now see what i will be doing so this div became like a circle right circular div now here i will write margin left minus 10 percent margin left minus 10 percent so 20 percent was extra right so i will move 10 percent extra to the left side by writing minus 10 percent what it will do you can see the circular div has started from here and the extra 20 percent is at the right side that has been hidden but it went at the right side so by writing here minus 10 percent what it will do 10 percent will move to the left side just see right now center this 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 particular circle has been appeared right at the center so now i will do one thing i will just increase the height to 100 percent so let's see how it looks now fine now if i do one thing if i make it to another 20 percent now just let me see how it looks now okay let it be like this fine now just see i will just uh, remove the red background color so the red background color which i have applied to the header that red color i will remove now let's let me remove the red background color this is no more required to me now right fine now here just in the circle circular diff here this is the circular diff here i will write background image right so let me just put a background image over here fine this background image i will apply over here now let me see how it looks right now the image size is much larger than the size of the circular diff so what i will be doing now i will write background size that will be 
hundred percent hundred percent so now it will be okay I hope right now if I write here ninety percent because some portion is hidden at the bottom so I can easily write ninety percent or even less let's see eighty percent will it work or not because some portion is hidden no at the bottom so uh, this will be sufficient right now I will put a logo at the header so to just put a logo at the header so I can simply write here div so and the div that I will take inside the header so I will name this div as logo div right logo div that will be placed inside the header so here I will write for the logo div right so let me write for the logo div so it will be let's say 160 px right and height will be 100 px not more than that uh, so I will put it over here just under the header no matter actually if I had placed it over here then also it will work but as because we can see the logo div is uh, placed uh, inside the header that is why I have just uh, written that under the header logo div so that it will be easy for finding right now here I will write background image now background image from the image folder I will get a background image here right now background size now let's see how it appears it will not appear perfectly let me show you right for that in the header I will do something I will just remove this display flex align item at the center and justify content center so once I remove this thing let me show you how it appears right now it will appear like this because I have to apply float left property so here I will write two things so here for the h1 for this h1 which is placed under the header I will write over here that width width will be by applying the calc method that is uh, 100 zero zero percent minus minus 160 into that is 320 px right so this much width right now here I will write float left and here also I will write float left right so let me show you now another thing I have to add over here that is margin 0 px and line height 100 px why I have added line height 100 px because the height of the header that is also 100 px so height of the logo that should be 100 px and the line height of the header that is h1 which is placed inside the header that should also be 100 px so now let me show you how it appears right now if i just write background color red just to show you I will remove the background color you can see so this is the width which I have taken over here that you can see width 100% minus 320px right 
160 px that is the width of this logo another uh, 160 px is left over here right so now if I write here text align center so now it will align right at the center now I will remove this uh, red background color I don't need to keep this red background color so this is how this page will look now now I will create the navigation bar but unlike other pages the navigation bar will not be not be placed at the top of the header that will be at the mid section right so for that inside the circle leaf I will take a unordered list and inside this unordered list I will take 5 li right 5 set of a life that is list so here I will write home and after that about us gallery and query after that at the last contact us so now so let me see how it appears so you can see it will it will not be seen now right so for that here inside the circle leaf I have to write over here here I will write that display flex under that I will write align item center and justified content center now if I write this thing you can find that you will so you can see inside the circular div I have created the evil so here I will write circle yeah. under this circle div I have got the another list so here I am going to write background color red for the another list this is the another list you can see now uh, let us continue so here I will write width will be let's say 420 px right now you can see width will be 420 px now here circle ul li so I will write the CSS property for this four list item so the I have declared the selector ID selector circle then the element selector ul after that li so for this li I am going to write the CSS over here so line height will be 48 px right list style will be removed right none now just go and see over here this dot will be removed and height will increase right so you can see the height has been increased right now here I will write margin top 4px right and I will remove the background color over here I don't need now at present this is how it will look now so I will write here background color for the li so I have removed the background color that was previously I have given for the another list but for the li I will give the background color background color will be let's say this will be the background color this will be the background color this one right now just let me show you how it looks right now width width will be just 300 px not more than that right and color will be white text align that will be at the center right text align will be at the center just see how it looks now this is how it will look now I have not finished yet border radius 
so it will be 0 px right 10 px right 10 px and 0 px just see right i i will do one thing i will uh, just make it short the width will be shortened a bit now this is fine enough and now the next step is that transform skew so i'll just uh, skew this thing right let's say minus 5 degree okay so let's see how it looks right minus 5 degree now just see what i'll be doing now here I will write circle you will ally and after that nth nth child element 2 now I am addressing to this ally this is the child element right so here I have got 5 ally so this is the second ally as a child element I am writing the CSS so here I will write margin left 10 px so let me show you just see 10 px has been moved to the right side because I have taken margin left of 10 px so it has been moved to the right side now I will write for the third li for this one for the for the gallery right this will be moved to 20 px and now this will be 4 and 5 so 30 px and 40 px so you can see so 2 3 4 5 that means 2 3 4 5 so 10 px the next one 20 px the after that 30 px and 40 px so it will be moved to the right side so i've taken margin left you can see this is how it will appear right now i will do one thing now you can see the how much height i have taken here so if i make it 100 px uh, i think this is how it will look right for that this also has to be 100 percent and 100 percent okay okay let it be like this and uh, yellow color so i'll remove the yellow color of the circle because now i have given a background picture yellow color will not be shown right and now so you can see this height height of the li the margin margin of the li i will do one thing i will just increase the margin over here the margin will be let's say instead of 4 px let it be 10 px so let us see how it looks 10 px so this is how it will look now i will apply the hover effect so now if i apply the hover effect over here just see so the so background size will be increased to 120 percent and 120 percent right and background position will be right at the center so now another thing will be that the i will add the opacity over here here inside the circular diff i will write opacity opacity will be at the beginning 0 0.6 right so 0 0.6 that will be light light opacity right and after hover that, that means after the user will bring the mouse over the body that is over the circular div then the opacity will increase to 1 so let us see that you can see now this thing will happen slowly so i will write transition duration uh, 3s so this thing will happen slowly and slowly right So here I will write 3 and here 1 right just see so you can see uh, opacity is 0 0.6 right now the opacity will increase and the background picture will also grow 
right this is how it will look right now I will apply hover effect to this uh, menu bar so right now let's see this is the menu bar I, I if you if I can also increase the height line height to 60 px let's see how it looks so okay it is looking good now now I will do one thing I will add the hover over here so hover effect background color that will change to let's say this will be the color right and also I, I will add over here transition duration so that it will happen slowly and slowly not fast slowly and slowly just color will change slowly and slowly right and another thing will happen just see here I will write margin left right so margin left that will be 10 px so you can see if I just bring the mouse you can see it is moving towards the right so because I have given margin left that is 10 px right so separately I have, I have to give uh, this thing to all so see so here, here also I have to write hover now here the margin left will be not 10 px it will be 20 px for the this one just let me show you right so I have to give separately to all this li now see here I will write hover and it will be 30 px and uh, for this it will be 40 px right and for the fifth one that is the last one just see so it will be 50 px so separately I have given the hover effect right to all the element right so you can see over here right so this is how it will look so you can also add the footer at the bottom so to add the footer uh, simply I will do one thing so under the ul I will add a paragraph right so this should not be done <laughs> but uh, I will do no problem so okay so we can do one thing like this uh, I will add a footer right now now here I will write C I R C L E circle U L P so background color that will be white and color of the text that will be black now line height line height will be let's say 40 px
and border radius that will be 6px right and transform skew x let's say 5 degree and at the last but not the least text align that will be center so let's see how it looks now this is how it will look so I have prepared this circular looking home page we can see how easy it is to prepare this circular circular looking home page so you can see I have applied a hover effect right and I have also applied the hover effect to this menu also have created a footer right so this is a unique uh, design not very familiar to other design that we will find so this is known as a circular home page right so this home page in this particular home page the uh, navigation bar will be at the center not at the top of the header right so if you like this home page and if you like this video then please subscribe the channel share this video with your friends and relatives and click the like button and also click the notification button so when I will upload the next video you will be notified so let me just go through the code over here again so just see what I have done slowly slowly I will scroll down the page so that you can see from the top I will just scroll down the page slowly and slowly for you so that you can have a revise what I have done I have declared all the uh, selector to define the CSS property and value slowly slowly I have shown you everything in detail so that you can understand and do it by yourself so just see you can write it down in your copy and you can try it by yourself thank you for paying attention and watching uh, this video till the end right so goodbye for today and in the next video I will show you something new and don't forget to subscribe the channel that will motivate me to prepare more videos like this so goodbye for today